Now we are going to talk about the third type of fan that we will find in inverter air conditioners. I call this type of fan U, V, W, because it has three wires, U, V, W. It works the same as the previous one, but the big difference in this one is that only the three phase coils are located inside the fan. The IPM and all the circuit that controls it is located on the electronic board. Understanding this, there are two details that you will have to keep in mind. In this case, it is located on the external board outdoor unit as the external board controls all the details of this fan, speed, rotation, power consumption, it is essential that when you replace this fan it is exactly the same. Attention, that detail has to be exactly the same because the board controls everything. So, any data that the board finds wrong will already mark an error. We are talking about voltage, power, amperage, rotation, and, of course, direction of rotation. It has to be exactly the same. When replacing, we have to get the same model. Another disadvantage of this fan is that when we place a universal inverter board, we will explain how to do this later, we cannot adapt this fan to universal boards. We have to change the fan. This does not adapt to universal boards. Another disadvantage, which I will explain better later. So, how do you measure these fans to see if they are good or bad? It is done only in resistance mode and the resistance has to be exactly the same in all points, 97 ohms, 97 ohms, and 97 ohms. The resistance has to be the same. It is a three-phase motor. Its phases will be run in time thanks to the IPM. So the coils have to have the same resistance between them. Please observe on the board the IPM of these fans. Here we are seeing a carrier or Myers board. In Mexico it is known as Myers and in Argentina or other countries it is the carrier model. And in many other countries this is the same as Medea. In fact, the electronic boards are Medea brand. Whenever a board says KFR, we are talking about Medea boards. Well, this is the IPM of the fan. This one we have here is the IPM of the fan. You will identify it because on the board you will find a heat sink further away from the main heat sink. Sometimes, the IPM of the fan can be next to the IPM of the motor. They tend to be together using the same heat sink. In the case of this board, no. So, what does the team's microprocessor do? The microprocessor is the one that tells it how fast it has to turn. Through these tracks that we can see here, the microprocessor tells it how fast it has to turn. When we get closer, we can see the tracks. And the IPM also informs it at what speed it is turning and what consumption it is having. There is constant communication between the fan control device and the microprocessor. We will also find the capacitors that maintain the 15 volts of the IPM and nothing else. After that, the only thing we have is the connector that connects the fan and the U, V, W terminals. So, the entire control circuit is directly on the external board. The measurements that you can make are many. Anyway, you know how IPMs work. You just need to know which is the 310 input and the U, V, W output to be able to make the measurements that you already learned in the compressor classes and the three-phase motor class. Exactly the same as to measure all the parameters of an inverter motor. What else can you measure? The capacitors that maintain the 15 volts. And also, please do not forget the communication tracks. They are tracks that we can barely see at first glance. 
Use a magnifying glass, use a microscope, and observe that no track is cut. Because many times the problem is that. Sometimes, we take the board to an electronic technician and we only see that he connected a small cable and the board already works. Because the tracks are often cut. So don't neglect that detail. Don't think that it can't be damaged. The tracks are damaged very often, please check that. Those are the details of a U, V, W compressor. To keep in mind that we have these fans, we will see some photos. There is another photo of U, V, W. They are very solid, very robust, they are heavy. They have permanent magnets inside. They have good rubber pads to hold them. We can observe it here. And the speed measurement, remember that it is produced through the loose cable. The loose cable produces a voltage drop, the one of the three that remains free, produces a voltage drop which informs through the IPM to the processor the direction of rotation, better said, the speed of rotation. So it's like they have an embedded hall sensor, just as we talked about with inverter compressors. But we have one more model of fans that is similar to this one and I will go on to explain. Please leave a comment if you have any questions.